What's going on you guys? Happy Mother's Day. We're out here fishing at Mickler's Beach, celebrating Mother's Day. We're fishing. Uh, big sharks being caught off the beach. I think the pompano are still here, so that's the goal for today. Um, I forgot my mic so that if it's super windy and the audio is terrible, I'm sorry, but it shouldn't be too bad. We got storms rolling in about three or four, but until then the fishing's supposed to be good, so I'm gonna bait up and head out there. I saw bait balls out there, so Beautiful. that's great. Thank you. So one thing that I read about this rod is that it's super sensitive. Okay. Um, and that's one thing that people like. They said they can see like, or they can feel like all the bottom of the ocean and everything. Or the floor, I don't know. You have something? I mean, do you have something or was that just dragging on the sandbar? Oh, you definitely have something. Yeah, it's probably coming towards you now. First catch of the day, right? Or she gets a pole in the water. The new pole, christening it. This is the christening. Is it a shark? Is it a catfish? Probably a catfish. Is it a whiting? Yeah. It's oh, a it's shark. A <laughs> the first fish that she catches is a shark. That's fantastic. Hello. Hello. That's great. That's absolutely fantastic. I was about to say he took off good. First first cast, first yeah, he went out. He went out strong. Alright, so first fish of the day goes to Kimber's mom, Amy, for catching a shark. That's actually the main goal for today. I'll be setting up my uh, large rod with a um, Jack Kerval head that I have from the last time I went out. You guys remember from my last video, I caught that Jack Kerval and I did keep it. I ended up uh, laying it and then keeping the head. So. Kimbra's uh, doing a different kind of fishing. She's fishing for shark's teeth. You doing good? Yeah, yeah it looks like a shark. Yeah. No, that's a that's a shark. Not on my pompano rigs, dude. That's the wrong kind of rig. I need you to bite the wire rigs. There we go. Alrighty. It's from the weight, or the his skin's rubbing off the. All right, so Kimbra with her first fish of the day, little bonnet head. You gonna let him go, or you mean to? All right. My Jack of all head here. It's frozen, which is what I want because as it thaws in the water, all the blood and oil and whatnot is going to get released. I'm throwing that out with a six ounce Sputnik rig so it won't move at all unless something bites it. Um, that's, the, uh, that's the plan for now. I'm going to put the hook right through the head. And a catfish. Woo! That's cold. All right, here we go. All right, so I'm about to send the drone up and get some shots, but Kimbra got a spot. Me. Look at that, great, great spot identifier. So we're gonna throw that in the cooler, use that for bait. I got a vacuum sealer at home, so we're definitely, that's gross. But we'll, uh, we'll keep them for bait. I'm not gonna let them go to waste. The main thing you guys need to remember when you're fishing at the beach is one, stay hydrated. 
And two, watch out for morons. You're gonna get people that are gonna come right up next to you despite the fact that you've been there since seven o'clock in the morning. Not as in you woke up at seven, but as in you've been on the beach with lines in the water since seven o'clock in the morning. They're just, they're just idiots. And if you are one of those idiots, stop being a damn idiot. but it feels heavy. Probably a big catfish. Ah. Oh yeah, it's fighting. There's definitely something on there. There it is, you see it? Right in front of me. See it splashing? Watch out. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Big catfish. I've got a twofer. <laughs> watch, out, watch, watch the spines. Holy shit, that's a big catfish. Oh. We have a puppy. Yeah, that's a big catfish. Get this down, cat. Here. Do you want to keep him, Brandon? You said you wanted to eat him. We fish. can cook him. Pasta and fish is what we're doing. I think we should keep them. They're good to eat, right? Yeah. They're usually not worth it, though, because you usually don't get ones like this size. Oh, yeah. We're keeping them. Cool. Brandon wanted it, so. Catfish for dinner, who's cleaning them? I'll clean them. Yeah, I'll clean them. All right, so sailfin catfish we're gonna keep. I actually got two fish on that one. There's a croaker in my pocket. I got. That goes in the bait bucket. This guy is going to get Yeah. Well, I mean, how to put it somewhere. Hey guys, what's going on? This is actually Alex in post edit. What you're looking at right now is footage from my drone that I shot that same day at the beach. We kept seeing large fins break the water surface. Uh, we guesstimated them between two and three feet. I didn't know what I was capturing at the time, and I'm very bad at flying my drone over the beach as I was hesitant to fly it over the water because, you know, it's a drone. Um, I thought it was interesting to see not only the color of the water, but also these large fins that were inside the water. You'll see here, I'll actually zoom in on most of the clips here and show you them. Um, I think what we, what, what I thought we were seeing when we were at the beach and I was looking at it was a pod of whales. What I decided ultimately what it was is that um, it was a pod or group of manta rays, large manta rays, as well as a pod of dolphins. One of my main um, key evidence points is for this is uh, this clip that we'll be playing shortly. You, ac you can actually see both wingspans of the manta break the surface right there. I've actually slowed that down so you can see it. I have no size reference for that, unfortunately, um, but I can tell you that I was 300 feet up in the air when I shot this, so if that tells you anything about the size of that ray. Um, incredibly large, very large. You can see there, I didn't even know I was capturing some of the things. That's one of the dolphin fins right there. I think it could have been a whale one. I'm not quite sure, but anyways, I forgot to do the outro. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of 904 Fishing. I will see you guys next time. Fish on.